So what is the most striking about the movie industry is the, is the rapid pace at which it became global in the last uh, 15 years. If you consider places like uh, the developing countries, for instance, it's very striking to see that countries like Russia, India, uh, Brazil or China uh, have extremely rapid growth of their markets. China being a very good example with uh, a growth of more than uh, nearly 50% last year of the market. So really a growing share of the world population is, is actually accessing the entertainment society. What these people want is to watch movies, movies that are made uh, elsewhere and movies that are made locally. So it's possibly a new golden age of cinema that is uh, actually starting nowadays. Uh, what is also striking is that production has also become global. 15 years ago, most of Hollywood movies were made in California. Uh, it's not the case anymore, with less than 10% of the movies, if you accept animation, uh, that are actually produced in, in California. California uh, ranks behind places such as Canada, uh, Louisiana, uh, or, or the UK, and actually most of the visual, fixed, uh, visual effects uh, uh, jobs which are an increasing share of the production uh, jobs are actually moving to places such as Vancouver, or Montreal or, or London. So in this landscape, the winning countries, the winning industries are actually the ones that are open to the world with one exception. Um, so the winning models are the US with the blockbuster models that is really addressing uh, the global demand for entertainment, the UK model which has been very successful in attracting uh, foreign productions, and the exception of course is China, uh, with a, a very rapidly growing uh, domestic market, so actually Chinese producers do not have to uh, go uh, uh, beyond, beyond their own uh, boundaries, beyond their own frontiers, because they have so much to deal with uh, internally.